Now, as you were saying earlier, and you, you was talking about being a shade four five. Yeah. You were talking about like the other times that y'all been in them circles. Um, you was, you, I think you were saying K Slate. Yes, sir. When y'all was, you, you please explain what what happened. This one, this one, one SK was a little younger. Okay. But he was, I don't know, I think he was rapping then. Though. He was I starting off. Was, was, but I was DJ. signed to a um, production company called State Getting. They did a lot of production. K Slate by a while. They did did motherfuckers. Oh. They did bubble music. They did a lot of things. Dip, definitely for Dipset. Okay. And um, they produced a record um, called, well, K Slade did a record called Rolling 25 Deep. And it was 25. I, I'm, I, it's an honor to be on a song with Stack Bundle. So, oh, God it bless. Was 25 of the hottest, youngest artists coming up. And I was luckily from Baltimore City to get on it. Okay. K Slade co signed for me to get on that record. I mean, what, what, what was that whole experience like, though? We go even deeper, if you don't mind. Because when I went to the because you had to sign a waiver. Right. Because it was like a promotional use thing. I didn't get paid from it or nothing. Okay. But you had to sign a waiver so you don't get sued. So when I go up in the studio with K. Slade to sign a waiver, saw some money in there. Mm. But I always been, I've been in Def Jam with Dipset. Okay. My my, my manager was, um he's drag on manager right now. He was a um, DMX road manager. So I met D. Y. We I been I in my early eight stages of doing this music thing. I thought it was it. I thought I was gone. But it, it you learn from it. And, and, Coming from and Baltimore, it's, tough it's, though, it's, bro. Yeah, and it's a blessing. Cause learning, cause oh, yeah. being from Baltimore, I got out of here. I got away. I got to see stuff. D. M. X. When he was doing all his movies, I got to go to all the premieres for free. All that stuff. And I even had my ticket. I ain't had to show my ticket. I could have brought one of the homies with me. Didn't even know. Yeah. But but okay. back then it was great, man. We was we was we was nice, man. We still nice. But back then we was before our time. Okay. We was just great. And shit is a, is a process. Yeah. I mean, like shout out shout out to Chris Gotti. Chris Gotti. Herb Gotti, you know what I mean? They my guys. Um Adventures Music. Also, I got a real close relationship with Deborah Annie. Um, Who's that? I don't know that. Walk him up. Walk him up. Oh, damn. I'm man. tripping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is that one. Yo, Shout out to this um, that one. We, 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 we be on a FaceTime kicking it. They know, got, they got a legendary family. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we put in work over the years to even establish these connections and these relationships yeah, with these people. Yeah, relationships you know I mean? everything. Especially, especially with Chris Gotti because if, if, if you've ever been around him, you know him. He's just a real brother. And you know they they they're responsible for a lot of success, a lot of Jay Z success back and back then taking them over to Def Jam and Mike Geronimo and DMX. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, the, the Gotti brothers are definitely legendary. You know what I'm saying. So we just we put work in to establish these connections and these relationships to understand that you know we work hard to get to that point. You know what I'm saying. Right. And, and we respectful men. You know what I mean. We take care of our families. We take care of our responsibilities. We don't. We ain't out here doing no goofball shit. It's Real like, nigga shit. Yeah, trying to stab, <laughs> trying, to stab you, trying to stab you in the back to get to get you the next level. Like, no, nah, it's, it's a whole. If you do your history about Baltimore City, it's vicious. Yeah, this is a vicious, vicious town. Yes, it is. You know what I mean? A, a, a close friend of mine a few days ago got murdered at ten o'clock in the morning. Mm. You know, so oh, yeah. so I mean, this this kind of shit just happens all the time. So we just try to. This music, I think this music, well, I ain't gonna say I think, I know this music helped a lot with saving our lives. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because we was out here. We was, run, we was running around, wilding. You know what I'm saying? They say why well, I smile a lot. I say I made it. You don't understand. Mm. I, never been through. I smiled crazy. Even though my mother gave me a beautiful smile. But <laughs> I'm I right. smiled because I made it. You feel right. what I'm saying? And I tell Paul, SK, I tell SK all the time, like, like he said, Herb Gotti, the DJ K Slays, the Dipset, these we used to ghost write for people. Like, we people don't get these many chances like yeah. we get. And and them we, opportunities. Yeah. Them opportunities coming where we come from and what we done did yeah. to people and still getting these blessed. I say, I say, SK, this is it. Mm -hmm. You the one carry the torch, because we don't get these many chances. Yeah. How many people can say they had four or five chances? Like our other partner that's not here now. Heavy gold. He was signed to Epic. Like we, we, we had a lot of opportunities that fell through the um, cracks because of whatever reason. But we still got now. Little bro is bros with a guy that could change his life. And when he changed his life, he gonna change all our lives. So it's crazy to me. 
Well, you know, man, the, the, the fucking music industry is 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 a beast. A beast. Um, you, you 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 know how many times people get like you said signed and they got they got so many people in the building and if whoever's control pushing them buttons. If if you ain't one of them people that they could too concerned about or have yeah. their best interests, mm -hmm. you get shelled. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And motherfuckers be motherfuckers be dope as shit. Be fire. Um, but you know, in the past, you know what I'm saying, moving forward, um, y'all got the mixtape coming out, like you said, um, sometime later this year. Yes. Y'all, who's, who's producing? CSB, who's producing? check the flag boys. Oh, y'all produce y'all? Yeah, shit? we've been, we, 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 for, for, you mean far as making the beats or executive producing the dudes? All of it in totality. I, I, you know, we, 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 do, we do, we do, we do, we do, yeah. we do got some beats um, coming from. Shout out to DJ Class. You know Class. Beats. Word. Yeah, yeah. yeah class, we know yeah. DJ. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know DJ Class? I don't know him, but I know the name. Yeah, he, he, yeah. Like, that real black DJ. Yeah, he, he talks about the city. He yeah, okay. the whole class got history. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I go out, I go out to Phoenix and. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, open, open the extra guest room, and I'm, I'm cooking chicken, and yeah, we, 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 we brothers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he, he already sent over some stuff. Okay. Um, Ghosts and D Banks, I just listened to some beats from them. They down the land making some moves. Um, shout out to Wendy Day too. Yeah, so I, know. I know a lot of people What's don't know who she is, but she's, I heard she's very, very important. She the yeah. one got cash money that they yeah, yeah, uh, did Wendy the Day. first one. Okay. I love you, baby. She's an executive. Yeah, she okay. does. You know what I mean? She's Power broker. My man, wow. Wavy, Wavy Davy. You know, it's a, it, it, it's a lot of people that's surrounding with us that's, that, that's play a part in, in everything. You know what I'm saying? So, we just appreciative and, 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 and respectful. You know, we just happy that just people that doesn't believe in us. But we believe in ourselves and we believe in each other. So, as long as we just keep that up, then we just going we to win. And this mixtape is a monster. We, we, we going to win. Crazy. How many how many tracks should we expect from you? Seven Just, or seven to eight. Seven to eight. Okay. But we we this the whole point though. Like we doing it short like that because we gonna keep coming. Mm -hmm. We gonna it's, it's not gonna stop now. We hungry again like we was back then. And then Paul um, SK motivates us so much. He's like we living through him. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just and and little bro he like nah you coming with me. Yeah. Fuck that. And you worry about me, nigga. We in this shit together. I'm, I'm, so I'm like, oh shit. He ready? Maybe he do do shit. I ain't even ready for. So I don't put words it. in his mouth, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm from just listening to y'all, y'all his mentors in yeah, a way, definitely. in a way. You know definitely. what I mean? So definitely. you know, shit, still, what is it? Still sharp and still. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is something I I, I be saying to motherfuckers. This is the wonderful thing about hip hop, like right now. Um. For every age, there is a is a is a listener and a demographic and a rapper from fifteen yep. to twenty five to thirty five to forty five to fifty five. Yeah. You know what I mean? And motherfuckers that's forty five, fifty five, and what motherfuckers used to try to say you be washed up after you like forty rapping. You know these niggas are spitting the illest game you could ever hear. Yeah. If you fifteen, motherfucker, you better open your ears. Open your ears. Because um, they giving you grown man game, grown man shit. Like nigga, I've lived your life twice over. Please pay attention. And survive. <laughs> right. Yeah, and survive. survive. And, and, and now I'm old, what you say? Now I can smile about it. I said, smile about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really like. I, I, I like to focus on the music. No, you gotta spice this motherfucker up. Yeah, Talk about think. some shit. I like to focus on the music, right? I like to focus on the positive. But listening to your project, like I said, um, listening to y'all song, um, and just listening to the conversation we've been having, um, how do I say this properly without without getting messy? Y'all experiences outside. What has that inspired, and how has it influenced um, you as artists? And, and as well, what are your influences? I am flowing. I stand on honor, respect, truth, and telling the truth. To one else's truth and telling the truth. Like, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff going on in the industry that shows me I went the right path. Far as, it's certain things that even with music, I'm not going to shake or move my honor or what I stand on. For anything. But well, that just has to deal with being a man. 
First right. and foremost. Cause what like I'm I'm a little I'm 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 an OG. And I always used to t- I used to, I just told me me and EJ What you rap for? You want money, you want jewelry, you want cars, you want women. Right. What's the we used to stress about this shit. Shit, we twenty, like the fuck, we got kids, we stressing, yeah. cause we thinking we there. We oh, stressing. You gotta go around. We got all that now. Everything we wanted as a rapper, we got. Yes, I know. Legally. So what's the point of yeah. anything in my music gotta be honorable? Cause I made everything I wanted as a rapper, I got now. I might don't got a Bentley. Right. But I got a BMW, I had a Benz, I had it's is is nothing. You got a big ass house too, don't forget that shit. Yeah, I got a <laughs> But big one. The things the things people do to make it dishonorably, us three, us four, us five, we ain't cheating. Music is good, we love it, we gonna keep doing it regardless, but we not I, I'm gonna ask that, that that comes from your experience. I would say outside of in the street or however you want to put it. Right. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I say, I don't, I don't want to ask y'all too much, but I know you brought it up. You can ask us whatever you want. We, we know what you said. I mean, I don't, you yeah. know, I, 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 this is part of the game. What, what, what situations is y'all willing to share that had the, the greatest impact on your life? From, from, um, Fight for your life. Well, I'm a well. Uh, okay, well, me for instance, I, I was, and I, I'm gonna keep it short. I, I probably was like 19 at the time, and um, I'm standing on North Avenue now. Where a lot of people, like, especially motherfuckers that are from Cali that come here, you know, we do something called, you know, we try and catch a hat. Right. So people from out of town think that shit is crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just a part of Baltimore culture. We yeah. get in a fucking stranger's car. Like, that's, that's, that's what happened. You know what I mean? Which is some wild shit. <laughs> Before Uber, you know, man. Like, and, 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 and then look, now right. look, look at the chat. Now Uber, you got Uber, Uber lift. Lift. Yeah. That shit is wild. We've been doing that shit way before yeah, then. We would have thought way about that before. shit. We'd have been billionaires. You know what I'm saying? But Damn. Um, these yeah. two, my, 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 rest in peace to Kyle Barker. Um, these two, um, these two chicks walked up and was like, you know, where y'all going? At the time, we was going to go get some weed. We had weed, but the shit was bullshit. So we was going to go get the good shit. So, um, long story short, you know, I, I, I should have thought something was crazy because these these two women was a little bit more advanced. Than, than we was kind of young. These was like grown-ass, beautiful-ass women. So they was like, well, wait, wait, um, wait here. We're going to go around the corner. We can go get something together. So we waiting and blah, blah, blah. Car pull up. Long story short, dude, jump out. Hit my man up, blast him right on North Avenue. I runs, dude, and drive aside, jump out, get the blasting at me. I get hit, fall. He running down on me. I'm looking at him. I'm like, I'm done. Click, 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 click. Mm. Gun jam. I get back up, running cop the state, fall to my knees, pray to God. Um, I saved a real angel in my life. A lot of motherfuckers don't be thinking I'm t- I, a real angel. I believe this. I'm listening. You know what I mean? She was this police lady. She was so pretty. I'm shot, bleeding. And when I seen that, I was like, God damn, you are fucking beautiful. Right. And you know, when you get hit, an officer's supposed to ride an ambulance with you. She got in the ambulance with me, rolled to the hospital. When I, I passed out for like about 10, 15 minutes, woke up, she wasn't there. They opening the doors. I'm like, where's the, where's the police lady? It was, there's no police, there, there was no police lady with you. I, I I wasn't delusional at all. I wasn't on drugs and I wasn't under the influence of alcohol. I was very aware and coherent. This lady was with me in the motherfucking ambulance, but they told me it wasn't no woman with you. So I sent the angel. She looked like an angel, smelled like an angel, <laughs> and she said one thing to me. She said, "Baby, if you don't change your ways." And make some different choices in your life. You gonna die out here, mm. and that and, and, and that and that summer, all, that. and that summer, all a bunch of my homeboys was dying. Like I like I was going around my hood, and I would leave, and right after I leave, motherfucker get smoked right where I was standing at. Mm. Like seconds later, you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so 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 that really did something to me. Then I had my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So when I had my daughter, it really fucked me up. Cause when you 
that, that, that's that's why I'm I'm very more appreciative of, of women. I used to kind of be like a little a little man. Yeah, that's old. You know what I'm saying? But once you see a woman give birth, that shit just fucks your whole head up. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, God damn. So a, 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 a lot of that transpired my, my way of thinking for me to change because because I knew if I didn't change myself, then I would probably end up dead or in jail out in these streets, which hundreds and hundreds of people that we know has gone through the same thing. Every day. So 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 morals, integrity, and principle means everything to me. And um, if you out there listening and you running around acting crazy, and you know God will give you the signs all day. Right. He'll show you how to move and how to change. It's up to you to listen. You know what I mean. So fortunately for us, we listen. And now all of us are doing good. We healthy. We 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 got businesses we run. You know we entrepreneurs, and it's just love. You know what I mean. So respect, morals, integrity, and principle. Is very very important. That's that's a cornerstone in y'all movement. Cornerstone, definitely. We the type of niggas that you got a baby, you ain't taking care of it, you gonna hear from us. We don't rule like that. Man. Cause we ain't out here, we ain't out here all fucked up. We them type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't, we ain't out here super. I mean, we ain't we ain't out here Floyd Mayweather private jet living. You know what I mean? But right. we 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 okay. We content. We content with being who we are. And having what we have, you know what I'm saying? Like we used to want all this money and all this, all this shit, and running around thinking that this all that. No, we need a peace of mind, health, and happiness is very important. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like my man, he he don't even talk about it, and he and he's humble about it. But you don't know too many dudes buying big dumb houses out in the county, sitting on a side street with thirty acres of grass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then and then we go there and, and, and then and then I go to his home and, 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 and it's like my home. You know what I'm saying? The, the door's always open. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that that's what we about. We got we just gotta take care of each other. And a lot a lot of these dudes out here in these streets, man, they ain't even taking care of themselves, let alone trying to take care of each other. And that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? We out here just destroying each other. Yeah. So our concept is just to do what we've been doing for the last thirty years. And we and, and this just this ain't nothing. We got a whole gang. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole mob. Like not like not on no goofy shit. We got a mob of goons. You know what I'm saying? Some of them need guidance. Some of them are okay. But all 30, 30, 30 and over click, 30 plus years. Good money. Good money. Yeah. Good money. They they, they, they didn't learn. They didn't learn by that. Yeah. Good money. Yeah. So we good. <laughs>